I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. Everything is made of empty space. And I'm going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says... How do we know what atoms look like if nobody's seen one? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a big balloon, a pen, and a map. Okay, so there's a lot of atomic models out there, and most of them are not to scale. Well, you're gonna, which you're gonna find out why, because I am gonna show you an atomic model, scale model, that you can do right at home. So, let's say we're modeling a hydrogen atom. Okay, so let's say that this meter in diameter balloon were the size of a hydrogen's proton. How far away do you think the electron would be? Maybe the end of my driveway? Wrong. What, maybe like a block away? Wrong. Maybe like 30 blocks away? Wrong. It would be... right here, 50 kilometers away from that big balloon proton model that you saw at the lab. Oh, and the electron would be about as big as that ball in a ballpoint pen. And it would circle around that entire radius in the blink of an eye. So, if everything is full of empty space, why don't solids pass right through other solids? And how do we know atoms exist if no one's ever seen an atom? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. We know what atoms look like based on observations and tests. When we look at radioactive materials, we can observe particle trails. These particle trails are made by electrons. Also, when we fire electrons at a single atom, these electrons always seem to bounce off the atom as if the atom was a ball, which means the electrons in the atom are spinning around so fast they're creating what would appear like a solid surface, similar to how fan blades seem to create a solid surface when spinning. If the electrons are spinning around, they must be orbiting something in the center of the atom. Since the electrons are negatively charged, the center must have positively charged particles, or protons. However, if there were just protons in the center of the atom, the electrons wouldn't orbit around the center which means there has to be other particles which are neutralizing the opposite charges, or neutrons. We know that protons and neutrons are larger than electrons because it can be broken down into quarks, but electrons can't be broken down any further, which means electrons must be extremely small compared to protons and neutrons. Also, since electrons are spinning around so fast, they would have to be very far from the center of the atom, or they would fly right past the protons and neutrons. This information gives us an idea of how big, as well as, what atoms would really look like. So now you know that everything is made of empty space. You know, being able to see the scale model of an atom right at home is why science is so cool.